Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today we are looking at an example related to the table method uh, on KC value. <coughs> the following example was taken from the 2008 department paper and we will just look at it carefully. We see that it says 1,5 mole of nitrogen gas and 2 mole of hydrogen gas were injected into a 0,5 dm cube closed reaction vessel and allowed to reach equilibrium at 470 degrees Celsius. When equilibrium was reached, it was found that 1 mole of ammonia was present. Calculate the equilibrium constant at 470 degrees Celsius. I'll show all calculations. Right, to, so to begin with, it is important that uh, we write down the necessary equation. So let's just write down the equation for this particular reaction. Okay, just a moment. Just a moment. Okay, so if you look at it, basically we can say that if we have to write on an equation for this particular reaction, it will be to be sorry about this let's just get this in order it will be H2 plus N2 reversible reaction to NH3 <coughs> so just to balance it out there's two nitrogen and then this will have to be a 3A in the front. 3H2 makes it 6, 1N2 makes it that, and that will be balanced. So the first important thing to do is to ensure that the equation is balanced. Alright, now the next step will be to write down our information in the table. So here we see what is initially given. Initial. This will be how much of the reactants are used and how much products are formed and here we'll see what we have at equilibrium <clears throat> so here at equilibrium what will be left Right, so going back to the to where we were, we just go a little bit up. Right, one mole of we see that one mole of nitrogen was given, so we can write here. Let's just put this in order just to get a little bit of order in this. We can say. Okay, just one second. Sorry about this delay. Right, we can put our nitrogen here. We can put our hydrogen there. And we got our ammonia here. This could be a bit confusing. Maybe it is better if we had to write this the other way around. But nonetheless, we can just continue. If you look at our nitrogen initially, we have 1,5 moles of nitrogen that is given. So it's 1,5 moles of nitrogen gas and 2 moles of hydrogen gas. 2 moles of hydrogen gas are injected into 0,5 dm cube container. The 0,5 dm cube will be used to uh, work out the concentration. And the amount of ammonia at the beginning will be zero. We don't have any ammonia. When equilibrium was reached, it was found that one mole of ammonia was present. So at equilibrium, this is very important, at equilibrium, one mole of ammonia is present. So let's just double check that again. 
1,5 moles, we are given 1,5 moles of nitrogen and 2 moles of ammonia. Here we have 1,5 moles of nitrogen, 2 moles of ammonia. No, uh, sorry, 1 mole, 1,5 moles of nitrogen, 2 moles of hydrogen. And at the, initially there are no moles of ammonia. And at equilibrium, we see that the amount of ammonia that is left is 1 mole. Right, so now this is all that is given. And we see that this is a mole table. This is important. This is a mole table. Now, the question arises, how do we work out our Kc value? So we have to complete the table. So to begin with, we always look at the amount of ammonia that we have initially was zero. And then at equilibrium, we see that there is one mole of ammonia left. So the question that arises is how much of ammonia was used or how much of ammonia was formed. And if you look carefully here, we'll see that, let's just try and get another pen color. Let's just get another pen color just to give us a little bit of uh, dimension. Okay. So we see that <coughs> If one mole of ammonia was formed, that means one mole of ammonia was formed from nothing, so that one mole of ammonia is formed. So this one is very, very important. I like to highlight that because this is very, very important. You can't overemphasize this one here. It's highly, highly important because this is where uh, we can use this one mole to work out the whole particular sum. Right, going further, so if one mole of ammonia is formed, and if you look at the ratio, the ratio, this is very important. Right, if you look at the ratio here, we see that three hydrogen react with one nitrogen react with two ammonia. Now, we have to look at what we've got here. Basically, we've got one ammonia reacting with three hydrogen to form two ammonia. This can be a bit confusing because I have written it uh, the other way around in this equation. But anyway, we see one nitrogen reacts with three hydrogen to form two ammonia. So now, in our particular case, we see that we do not form two ammonia. We form one ammonia. So if one ammonia is formed, how much of hydrogen needs to react to form one ammonia? And how much of nitrogen has to react to form two ammonia? So the mole ratio is 1 is to 3 is to 2. So we see that <coughs> the ammonia now is half, half of 2, which is 1. So we say half of 3, which makes 1 and a half, and half of 1, which makes 0, 0,5. Let's see if the uh, mole ratio is the same. Two half, this is half, this is 1, so this is double, and this is 1 and a half, which is 3 times. So 1 is to 3 is to 2. So this is an extremely, extremely important point to remember. This is the key to working out the table sum. Right, going further, we see that initially we had 1,5 moles of nitrogen. 0, 0,5 moles were used. So how much is left? One mole is left. Two moles of hydrogen were available. 1,5 moles was used. So therefore... 0, 0,5 moles is left. So now we see the concentration of the reactors that we have at equilibrium. Now we know that Kc has got to do with concentrations. So the next step will be to work out the concentrations of what we have. So the concentration of nitrogen is 1 and your, your molar volume was given in the table at the beginning. Just to have a look at it carefully. We had a 0, 0,5 mole per dm cube container. So that's very important. So 0, 0,5 mole per dm cube is your volume. So your concentration of nitrogen is 1 over 0, 0,5, which gives you 2. The concentration of hydrogen is 0, 0,5 over 0, 0,5, which is 1. And the concentration of ammonia is 1 over 0, 0,5, which is 2. Now, having that, we can work out our Kc value. So, let's just continue. 
so kc is equals to concentration of products which in our case is nh3 to the power of the products and what is our balancing number for the reaction you see that it is 2 let's just write this down to the power of the products which is 2 concentration of over the concentration of the reactants which is nitrogen and hydrogen and let's just see the balancing numbers hydrogen is 3 so we can put a 3 there nitrogen is 1 which is 1 there and if we take this further we can work this out the concentration of nitrogen is 2 all squared over concentration of nitrogen which is uh, if you just go a little bit up nitrogen is the first column and the concentration of nitrogen is also 2 and the concentration of hydrogen is 1 all over 2 concentration of hydrogen is 1 cubed and if we have to work this out we see 2 squared is 4 all over 2 and our KC value is 2 and as we've mentioned in the previous lesson the concentration of 2 tells us that there are more products than reactants and this is the solution to the question above that came for 8 marks in 2008 November uh, DOE paper. That's all for today. Thanks. Thank you very much.